Hey guys, today I'm going to make a short video on how to install the Hyperactive 12-1 crank trigger with a uh, Holly ECU. Uh, the, this crank trigger offers a good bit more resolution than the 4-magnet you know, MSD. Um, and it's actually a direct swap for the 4-magnet MSD. Uh, what I have here, this is my personal car and this is a, a small block Ford. So I had a 36-1 on my engine and I use that bracket and then I use this bracket down here to hold the uh, Holly uh, Hall effect crank trigger sensor that's a direct drop in for the MSD so it's a 3 quarter by 16 thread and uh, I'll link the part number to this as well but uh, but this this video is more about the crank trigger wheel itself and how to set it up so I'm using a little poker because I've only got one hand to use right now um, so what we have here is when this when this ships it's gonna have 12 magnets in it okay so there's there's 12 magnets in a circle and there's 360 degrees in a circle so if you divide 360 by 12 you get 30 so that means that there's 30 degrees between each one of these magnets okay so what you need to do is you bolt this onto your dampener put it over here this is top dead center this mark right here I should be able to see it. My camera wasn't blurry. Anyway, that is TDC. Um, so this is TDC. This mark is for 30 degrees, but this one down here is, is top dead center. So what I did here was I knock out a magnet. There used to be a magnet in this hole. So see that? Um, there's no magnet in there. I knocked that out. And um, we are on the second magnet. One two okay so that means it gives us a 60 degree reference angle so if we were to roll this engine back over to 60 degrees up here right if we were to roll it back over to 60 degrees before top dead center right here then <clears throat> this missing magnet or this this hole where the magnet used to be would be lined up here so we have a reference angle of 60 degrees so you're going to proceed with uh, setting it up in the software just like you would a 4 magnet but you select 12 minus 1 and I'm going to show you that but I've had a couple questions of people asking me how to do this this is how you do it order the wheel they throw 12 magnets in it you take a you know roll pin punch and smack it out and then uh, when you knock them out they go from the outside in so you don't have to do anything trying to get crafty trying to press them from the inside out they uh, press in from the outside in take a little bit of effort but put them in a soft jaw on a vise and uh you know give them a, a couple good taps and they, they come out so this is the 12 minus one we're gonna go set it up on the software right now just give me a second degrees before top dead center so now we need to set it up in the software so click on your system icf here and then click ignition parameters up here you're gonna have a few options but uh we're gonna go to custom and hit configure and then uh, the type is 12 minus 1, okay? Right now, mine's set up for digital falling, which means it passes the sensor and it falls off of the sensor, in essence, on its way to top dead center at 60 degrees. The TDC tooth number is 2. So remember, we were talking about 30 degrees per magnet, in between per, uh, each magnet, and then we have 2. We're on the second um, missing, we're on the second magnet after the missing magnet. And uh, this, these two figures right here, you'll you'll come up with on your own when you confirm your static timing and your inductive delay. I made a video on how to do that as well, um, so refer to that video uh, on how to set up your timing offset and your inductive delay. This has a uh, a minus eight degree timing offset because of the lack of movement I had on my bracket. I was at the bottom of the bracket, so. Uh, I offset it 8 degrees and uh, you enable a static timing check like I showed in a different video uh, shoot the balancer and start moving this number or move your sensor to make it match so hopefully this was helpful it's uh this this thing's been been jam up for me I, I've been really happy with this uh, 12 minus 1 magnet wheel and uh, I've you know I've revved the engine to I believe 87 8800 rpm already uh, without a hiccup I'm a real big fan of the the sensor from Holly, the uh, part number is 554118. It's a uh, it's a drop-in Hall effect sensor. It's been fantastic as well. So 
Hopefully this helps. Thanks, guys. See you.